Welcome to Pittsburgh. The Steelers about to play host to the New England Patriots. Patriots, Steelers coming up here on CBS. And hello, friends, Jim Nance, along with Bill Sims. Bill, the last five times that Tom Brady's been in the lineup against Pittsburgh, he's won. So what's the mindset for the Steelers coming into this one today? You think the Steelers have heard that enough this week? I think you, you could tell the attitude of them. They are tired of hearing about the Patriots offense. How are you going to stop it? Can you? They're unstoppable. And Tom Brady. So Steelers are down on the defensive side. Do they have enough? The emotion, it's on their side to start the game. No question, Jim. And the ball is going to be on their side. The Pittsburgh Steelers to receive it as New England has deferred after winning the toss. They'll take the ball to begin the second half. Gostowski puts it on a tee. This is his first time ever playing at Heinz Field. About to boot it down to that young man, Antonio Brown. He's number two in the AFC in kickoff returns. So Gostowski drives it to Brown two yards deep. And Antonio takes off across the 20, across the 30, and falls at the 34. 36-yard run back, Kyle Arrington. Finally brings him down. Roethlisberger has been on a roll. He's thrown nine touchdowns against only one pick in the last three games. All wins, including over 360 last week, and a clean slate. Three touchdowns, no picks at Arizona. And this marks the first time all season the same front five have started in front of Roethlisberger, including Starks at that left tackle position. And Mike Wallace last week. Hooking up with Roethlisberger, 95 yards, the longest pass play in Steeler history. They come out with three tight ends, Miller, Saunders, and David Johnson. With Mendenhall, the running back. Going to throw it even with the three tights, and it's a completion over to Wallace for a gain of eight. Now everyone knows the Patriots have given up a lot of yardage this year. Here's their defense today. Going with 4-3, look, that means Kyle Love Starts out the game, the second-year man from Mississippi State. Got Guyton in there instead of Mayo. Mayo is active after missing several games with a knee injury and some shuffling around in that secondary this week for the Patriots, including the waving of Lee Botten. Five. A second and two for the Steelers from the 38. And it's Mendenhall with nowhere to go. So a third and two coming up, and Phil, let's little, talk a little analysis when Pittsburgh has it. Well, Jim, you know, Pittsburgh always looking for ways to get big plays. And what they do, they bring Mike Wallace across the formation, make you think it's run with three tight ends in the game. So not enough cushion when you're talking about maybe the fastest wide receiver in the NFL. And as Ben Roethlisberger said, he always gives that deep receiver a little peek, and if he has a chance, he lets it go. So third and two, they bring in Isaac Redman and Antonio Brown as well, wide, wide to the left. Emmanuel Sanders also out there. Ben throws for it and has it. The first down to Heath Miller playing his 100th regular season game. Miller picks up 10 and a first down. Well, good job by Heath Miller. That football was tipped at the line of scrimmage but still stayed on the right path for Keith Miller to make the catch. So after a first down by the Steelers, this opening series of the game, we welcome the audience that saw Houston defeat Jacksonville 24 to 14. The Texans improving to five and three. Jim Nance, Bill Sims here in Pittsburgh. Miller with a second straight catch and another first down, a gain of 11. Well, Ben Roethlisberger loves being the shotgun, spread it out. You be the quarterback, and look, it's a quick throw. Has to get rid of it quick because nobody there to block Andre Carter. And the one thing you notice about the receivers for Pittsburgh, running backs, Heath Miller, the tight end, and all the wide receivers, once they catch it, they get the extra yards. That's something New England very worried about in this game today. Pittsburgh has been a fast starting team, particularly at home. And they've scored opening drive touchdowns each of the last three weeks. They're driving here at the beginning. First down at the New England 41. And again, it's Miller. Three straight plays to Miller. And hard to bring down. And not until he gets to the 22. Picks up 20 more. 
Well, they love this formation. When you watch the Steelers play, they love, again, three wide, three tight ends, and they release them both inside. And Heath Miller, when you talk about this offense, the two guys I think you have to look for in the passing game, number 83, Heath Miller, and, of course, number 17, Mike Wallace. But, they, Jim, they fool you. Get them all in there tight, and then that's when they like to throw the football. Ben shrugs, no big deal. Miller, it's working out. Let's go to him again. That's oh, what yeah. he's saying. Heinz Ward, you saw him on the sideline, inactive today, out with an ankle injury. He was cheering on that last play. Black, black. Quick toss. Antonio Brown has to fall to the ground to pick it up. And it may, in fact, have lost a yard. Well, you look at the Steelers' offense. So, you, I thought that, sure, that would be a running play. And it probably was a run screen, both of them. Spread them out. Make Bring the defense down, spread a little bit. And then run the football. Bunch them in there tight. They're worried about the run. They can't get to the quarterback if you're worried about your offensive line. Now you can throw it. So, they do this a lot. And it's worked well for them when they play this New England defense. A second and 11. At the Patriot 23. Roethlisberger steps up and that pass wide of the mark. He was looking for Mendenhall. You know, you're the quarterback. Ben Roethlisberger does an excellent job. He's going to look down the field. Always feels the rush. Steps up. Kyle Love that time. Puts the pressure. 74 Kyle Love and might have got held there a little bit. Sets up a third and 11. Jericho Cotri, the former Jet, is in there in a slot to the left. Going to see some action today with Ward inactive. Have to get to the 12 for the first, and they have it. Miller, it's been his series, hasn't it? Inside the 10 and tackled at the 8 by Ihedibo. Picks up 15. Well, it was a 4-3 defense in an obvious passing situation. So that tells you they're most likely going to blitz, and they do. The last time they played last year, New England blitzed a lot. And what did they do? They played a zone behind it, Jim. So in other words, a lot of open space. Not only is Heath Miller open, all three receivers to the right were open on that pass play. Miller has picked up four first downs on this opening drive. And now first and goal, play action, and Roethlisberger, oh, Miller. Just a little out of reach for him, trying to reel it in. If, if any, any defense is ready for this look-in pass, it would be the New England Patriots. They basically created that pass on the goal line from years ago, trying to get Sanders, Sanders right down the middle. He's covered. And Roethlisberger, good job of getting rid of it. Probably just threw it too hard. Guyton was in on the coverage. But you see that type of pass from every team in professional football every week now. Second and goal at the eight. The toss. Mindenhall trying to get the edge. Picks up three. Out of bounds at the five. That was Devin McCourty who pushed him out. Patrick Chung also. They'll bring in Mewelde Moore now for this third down snap. They have converted a couple of third downs on this opening series. Both of them to Heath Miller. And there's Moore being sent out to the left side. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. He makes a decision before the snap which side he is going to go to, of course. I would say he should go right. Oh, it's a blitz. Looks left, throws left, and a tackle near the goal line. What an effort. Touchdown, Mawelde Moore. He took a hit outside the goal line and then drove across for the touchdown. Really clever play. And why he went left that time, Ben Roethlisberger, the Patriots, they blitz. So it's two on two, and they basically run a pick play, a legal play, pick play. Now, Weldy Moore coming underneath Mike Wallace, and the defender can't get there. He had it, but didn't have enough leverage. He actually met him at about the one. Yeah, but Antoine Molden had the coverage, but he got picked by Mike Wallace. That's the point. Sweesome is good. 
The Steelers drive it down the field on an opening possession for the fourth straight week for a touchdown. They keep the ball six minutes. That's an 11 play drive. Steelers scoring on third and goal from the five with Miller catching four for 55 yards. He's wondering, man, this is nice being a receiver. Usually he has to stay in the backfield and block for a lot of times. Ball bounces and finally just barely goes out of bounds. Danny Woodhead was back there, so they'll bring it out to the 40. Kickoff out of bounds. The ball would be placed at the 40-yard line. First down. So Time Brady out. and company will start with a somewhat short field at the 40. We'll see them for the first time. Miller takes him down the field. Roethlisberger to Moore for the touchdown. And you look down, you'll see Kevin Falk playing for the first time in 13 and a half months. He's being injured week two a year ago. Blew out an ACL, just brought up yesterday. First snap for the Patriots. And that's Hernandez. And he's able to crawl for about eight. Tom Brady. 16 touchdowns this season against eight picks. You talk about the AFC representative in the Super Bowl. It's been either Brady or Roethlisberger. Seven of the last ten years with four of them belonging to Brady. Three to Ben. Here's his line. What a find in Waters who had such a big career at Kansas City. But they let him go. Belichick the beneficiary of that. Gronkowski had three touchdowns here last year as they go to Green Ellis. And he is stopped for a loss of a yard. Mike Taylor comes up. Here's that Pittsburgh defense, including old number 98, Casey Hampton. He's back after a neck injury had set him back. First start ever for Stevenson Sylvester. We got to talk about that linebacking core because it's beat up. Hogamalu, of course, his presence always felt, but they're without James Harrison, still out with that broken eye socket. Worlds is out, Farrier is out, so they got three primary players in the linebacking position out. Ocho Cinco, top of the screen, third and three. And a three and out for the Patriots as Brady's pass was intended for Branch. William Gay on the coverage. Well, a little different approach this time as you watch this defense for the Steelers. They are trying to pressure the offense and look at the tight man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Tom Brady looked from behind, trying to throw that slant. Boy, Barry Foot reading the eyes of the quarterback. Almost got over there. Larry Foot, not Barry. Sultan Mesco. To boot it to Antonio Brown. He comes up. And that was not a very emphatic fair catch signal, but he's awarded the fair catch after the 41-yard punt. Pittsburgh coming back out, up 7-0. Opening drive touchdown, and then the defense forcing a three and out. They went against uh, New England's weakness that first series. Nine of 11 plays, pass plays. Roethlisberger batted away and incomplete. They were going back to Miller, and that was Brandon Spike who reached in and knocked it away. Tim, let's look at the touchdown. The Steelers stack the receivers. The defenders back off. One says, I have outside. The other one has inside. But what do you do when they both go inside? I'll tell you what you do. You give up the touchdown. So, well planned by Bruce Arians, offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We go with the three receivers. And to the ground with Mendenhall. And Mendenhall's got about five. We've got an update. Let's go back to JB in New York. Jim, let me ask Shannon. Shannon, how do you get this wide open? Lions have won five straight on the road looking for six. Back to Jim Nance. Well, and Shannon, maybe Sands. you should have played the Denver Broncos defense. You were playing <laughs> on the wrong team. 7-3 Detroit in that one. Meanwhile, another third down situation for the Steelers who converted in all three cases on that first series. They bring the Weldy Moore back in. And Roethlisberger this time gets the completion to Jericho Cotchery. His first catch as a Steeler goes for 10 and a first down. What a nice insurance policy 
for the Steelers. They have Jericho Cotri. Heinz Ward playing in place of him. Mike Tomlin, what did he say? Just a pro, great in the locker room, knows what to do on the field. And let's don't forget, the guy's got some talent too. Perfect teammate, he said. Comes in here, understands his role. And, uh, you know, Jim, that's what you look for when you get a veteran player. It's going to be a backup. You want all those other things. Of course, you want the player on the field too. No ego. Over to Brown, and he's met right away. It's twice they've tried to go in that direction. The first time he caught it and lost one, and this time he lost another yard as McCourty comes up with the quick stick. Yeah, most of these defenses, they've seen this quick pass out here so many times now. Everybody's reacting to it well now. It's just not having the effect that it did before. And, and probably the biggest thing is it's just done too Take much. You know, the offensive coordinator and the coach is over there going, man, let's run the ball. Don't take this little cheap pass every single time. A second and 11. Mindenhall was scanning. He's going to pass protect. And there's the throw again. Back to Miller, who's having quite a first quarter feast. That one's for eight yards, and that's his fifth catch already. Well, I brought Heath Miller's name up to the Patriots last night. And stacking the receivers, really working for the Steelers. But... And they said the same thing. That's the guy they look at. Can do it all, Jim. Good blocker. Can block defensive ends and pass protection for the quarterback in the backfield, but never going to get to the Pro Bowl. Why? Well, there's guys who catch more balls than his conference, right? Yeah, they just catch more passes. Doesn't mean they're a better tight end. They're not. They just catch more passes. That's, that's what we judge everything on. Of course, they've been sending on a regular basis in recent years Antonio Gates and Dallas Clark, and they do rack up big numbers where they have in the past. Here's a third down play, and it's Miller again. Heath Miller, New England just hasn't found an answer for how to defend Miller. This one, 13 yards and another first down. Well, good, good work with Ben Roethlisberger using his eyes. He's looking to the right. The, the receivers are covered. You be the quarterback. He's looking outside, wants to throw the short route. But nice job by Heath Miller stopping and moving again. Oh, a nice high release. You throw these short passes in this league, you better get that football up high. Good veteran play by Heath Miller. Looking for the long ball. Uh, instead of go medium length. And that's incomplete intended for Emmanuel Sanders. Looked like for a minute might be going for Wallace way down the field. Get the scores. Get the management you need. CBS Sports Fantasy Football Teams on your mobile phone. To get the free app, simply call Star Star CBS or go to cbssports.com slash mobile. You know, the one thing I noticed, you and I talked about it, Jim, coming into the game. We even talked to Ben Roethlisberger. You know, the fact that nothing's really hurting or that we see that's hurting. His foot, his ankle, you see him moving around with ease. But where I see it is when he throws the football. I mean, he is... It's coming out clean. There's Wallace. Blocker in front. Wallace has the first down. That was Miller out ahead of him. Mayo comes over to bring him down, but another first down for the Steelers. An 11-yard gain. Steelers do so many things on offense. They're like the Patriots. Hey, what offense are you going to see this series, this play? But they're outside screen game to the wide receivers. And then guess who's making the block? Number 83 gets in the way. Just enough to allow the first down. But their outside screen game by the Steelers and inside, they got it to the backs too. It's very good. Bruce Arians over there loves to throw the ball. Minden Hall plows ahead for a couple, maybe three. That's eight first downs so far for the Steelers. And again, New England. Well, you just a three and out, no first downs. Let's you know, let's go back. What's the what's what was the big worry for Bill Belichick last night? His team had the bye week. He looked at all the bye weeks of the teams that have played. They were three and nine. The Giants struggled today. He worried about that, and rightly so. It seems to be a trend that is real. He watched all 12 teams that came out of the bye before this week, those that were three and nine. And his conclusion was what? Yeah, they were giving up big running plays and not running the football on their side. That's Wallace slashing across the middle. 
Able to shrug off a hit and pick up another five yards, taking it inside the 30. Got away from Ninkovic. Andy Hedibo picks up 10. Runs, run after the catch. Everybody, these wide receivers, you know, I caught they're fast. Wide receivers with little feet. And what do I mean by that? They can just redirect and they never lose that speed when they go for the catch. And this is the one time, probably in a long time, where the Steelers go. Our receivers are better than the defensive backs. We are going to take advantage of that. So Wallace will sit out this play. First a timeout called by the Patriots who haven't found a way to slow down Roethlisberger and the Steelers here at the start. Jim Nance and Phil Sims were coming out of a New England timeout. After two minute mark first quarter. Eight plays of at least 10 yards picked up so far by Pittsburgh. And on first down, Roethlisberger swings it over to Mendenhall. And brought down by Spikes after a gain of eight. Well, we talked about Heath Miller, Jim, having such a good day today. And when he doesn't have to stay in the backfield against a team where he can be part of the passing game, and especially now, with the wide receivers the Steelers have, it opens up the middle for him. And there he is, six catches, 76 yards in this first quarter. He might stop blocking and say, I'm not blocking that, <laughs> throw me the ball. Yeah, I like this more. Round again, first down, squirting through the hole, hits Mendenhall down to the eight before he's wrestled down by Chung. Steelers do an awesome job. They love to get these three blockers to the right. Heath Miller on the block, a little double team, then comes off the block and blocks Mayo and allows Mendenhall. Watch the block on the outside. Ninkovich can't get off of it. That's a nice, that's a Marcus Gilbert, number 77. Right tackle, good job by him. That line's doing a good job protecting Roethlisberger and open up a hole right there. Picked up 12. I've been trying to guess run or pass. I've been wrong just about every time, I, so I'm not going to say it out loud. They're mixing it up, of course, very well. First and goal. Roethlisberger goes on the run, throws it away. He takes a hit this time. Vince Wilfork was running after him along with Sean Ellis. Really good thought process, the fake boot, and this is what makes him dangerous, of course. The fact that, hmm, I think he got up looking, maybe I got hit late, all was good. Well, when Ben Roethlisberger does move, of course, it's always to throw the football. He calls the timeout this time. So 18 seconds to go first quarter. Pittsburgh threatening to go in again. And as we were going to commercial, you may have seen Roethlisberger grimacing because his left foot took a little pounding there. Remember, he was clobbered down in Houston a month ago. Thought he might miss a game, but did not. So he took that timeout, grimaced all his, on his way back to the huddle here before this snap on second and goal. To the end zone and knocked down. Incomplete. That was Chung who defended. Antonio Brown. Boy, really good job. The numbers told me that he would throw the football to the right, but he comes back. Antonio Brown, top of the screen, coming across on Chung. Boy, this is tough coverage, but great spot to be in what did you see out of Ben during that timeout I you know Jim I think he took the timeout he was a little shooken up I don't know if it's his ankle or left knee but just kind of gathered himself so he wouldn't have to worry about it so you can have a good thought process once the play starts he's got five wides on third and goal he's got all kinds of time now the pocket collapses and they bring him down for the sack Wilford and Anderson both get to Roethlisberger and a loss of six. Well-coordinated coverage back 
for the New England Patriots. Everybody knows the situation. They stay back. Even if you throw it short, they're going to make the tackle. Yeah, they'll try a field goal when the second quarter begins. 7-0 after one, Pittsburgh. Well, Ben Roethlisberger a moment ago went in. Shaken up a couple of snaps ago. Reaggravating that left foot injury. So to begin the second quarter, squeeze him out for a 33 yard field goal attempt. And the kick is good. Mike Tomlin Steelers dominating that first quarter. New England had only three snaps in the quarter. I think that's the big, big one there. I, the New England Patriots, they've been over there warming up on the sideline for about the last half hour, waiting for their turn to get back on the field. That's the first time for New England since 2003 and that opener of 03 that they've gone through the first quarter of a game without a first down. Mm. So Ben wasn't gone for long. He returns. You know, it's it's something. One of the first things we asked Mike Tomlin when we talked to him on Friday, just going in there. Of course, it's always a treat to you hear a lot of broadcasters. It's just it's, it's, he has a different way with words. But he goes, I said, well, what about this game? The Patriots, you know, do you, do you hate them or dislike them as much as you do the Ravens? And he says, no, we acknowledge we get a little excited to play the Patriots, but it doesn't have the history of the Baltimore Ravens, that's for sure. But I think we, you and I have talked about it, Jim. Nobody gives the Steelers a chance in this game when you watch all the TV and everything, and, and uh, I think the Steelers have had enough of it. And they'll see the Ravens right here next week. A two-game stretch that really will make or break the season. That's Woodhead. And Danny Woodhead takes it out to about the 21. Halloween night. And the star of A Nightmare on Elm Street comes to Hawaii 5 -0. That's tomorrow, only CBS, America's number one network. So the Patriots had not trailed by more than seven points through the first six games of the season. And now their biggest deficit of the year, they're down 10. Hernandez to the near side with Taylor on him. Welker makes the grab out to the 28. Larry Foote brings him down right away. Gain of seven. I think it's what everybody expects. When the Patriots play the Steelers, they did it in that opening game in uh, what the year was it? They opened up Gillette Stadium, Jim. 2002. Where they threw so many passes to spread offense. In other words, spread the field against the Steeler defense and see if they can cover people inside. It was first game in Gillette Stadium history, regular season, as they go with Kevin Falk. He picks up two, so they've got a third down on the way, third and one. Well, the last time it was third down, look at the Steelers. They got 10 people up near the line of scrimmage. They're just going to challenge the wide receivers to get open against tight man coverage. In other words, if you play zone defense, Dick LeBeau, you drop back against Tom Brady. He has tremendous protection. He can look to one guy, your defense moves, then he throws across the field to somebody who is wide open. Taylor Price is the receiver for the Patriots. On the far side, third down, Green Ellis. He's tripped, but he falls forward for the first. Well, you're talking to Mike Wallace, who uh, he went to school with at Ole Miss. Talking about Green Ellis, his close friend and old teammate. He says he always gets that third and one, a tough yard. I think you said it right. That time, foot gets in the backfield. And I started thinking, I go, you might be right. I don't know if I've ever seen Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis go backwards on any play. On first down, and after a much needed first down, it's Falk, and he weaves out to about the 38. How about Kevin Falk? Now in his 13th year out of LSU, and he again had that knee injury week two last year against the Jets. Iard was on the physically unable to perform list, and now he's back active for the first time. Practice this week, active this week. 
A Bill Belichick favorite who gets the ball and gets the first down. Well, Picks up five. A guy like Kevin Falk is really valuable, of course, to this offense because they put so much pressure on the running back to run it. But the big thing is knowing all the situations, how to pick up blitzes to protect Tom Brady. And a good example, the first play of the game, they made an adjustment and he stayed in and blocked. And they go no huddle here. And they go across the middle, ball pops out. That was Hernandez who was not able to hold on. There is a flag down. And Hernandez, who's had knee issues, missed a couple of games. He's a little gimpy here. Before the pass, holding defense number 50. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. That's called on Larry Foote. There you go. Nice shot of the jersey. That's pretty easy to see. You pull that jersey out, the official could be 40 yards away and throw that flag. Back to fall. And boy, as he bounced backwards. Flags are down everywhere now as Mankins is mixing it up. Got to be alert. Page is going to go up to the hurry up. Well, they spot the ball back at the 48. And now. Ball should be, I believe, over on the Pittsburgh 49. And I still don't have it quite right. That's not an accurate spot. Brady from the pocket and no flag incomplete. William Gay defending. Now there's a flag out. Branch was jawing. Wow. Every game you watch and you'll say, oh, a late flag. And you go, well, it's not really late. Well, sometimes they are. Pass interference. Defense number 22. The spot of foul automatic. First down. Well, this one was late. The play is over. A lot of grabbing and pulling. I was looking for flags everywhere. Nothing. The official closest to it isn't the one who threw the flag. I know. Yes. So another first down at the 42. Start offense number 70. Five yard penalty is to our first. Logan Mankins left guard. Well, that's just Troy Polamalu. That'll make anybody nervous up in there because you don't know what he's going to do. He could try to jump over all the offensive linemen, which we've seen him do in the past. But communication when you're running an offense, no huddle. There's got to be a lot of talking from Brady and the offensive linemen have to talk too. The crowd. They are making it tough on the Patriots right now. First and 15 for New England. And incomplete. Headed in the direction of Welker with Monday on the coverage. Well, I think, you know, when you watch this Patriots offense, they have so many formations. They do so much. Pull them all on the blitz. They're just expecting defenses to be off they get a lot of easy throws Jim but so far today the Steelers as you see from behind they are trying to stay tight to these guys so far they've done a good job a Pittsburgh defense that has not been its usual ball hawking best only three takeaways on the season they fake the little wide receiver screen now Brady's going to run away from the heat looking for any kind of help and then throws it away that was Lamar Woodley who was messing things up for Brady. The old Michigan man, both of them. 
No pressure on Tom Brady, though, but nice coverage down the field. Everywhere he looked, they were covered, except top of your screen. And as, as the play went on, everybody left Wes Welker, but still nowhere to go. Nobody open down the field. Keenan Lewis all over Hernandez. Need to get to the 32 for a first, and Woodley's got him this time. Lamar Woodley with his eighth sack of the season. It wasn't just a sack, it was a loss of 15 yards. So on fourth and 30, Mesco back out to send it down to Brown. No fair catch this time from the 20. Stumbled a bit, and that cost him. As Sergio Brown was there to close in on him after the 42-yard punt. Woodley, he chased Brady the play before, forced the throw away. This time, he decks him for a 15-yard setback. Well, the Steelers come out for the third time on offense. Got to keep pushing, Jim, if you're the Steelers. They've had two long drives, one leading to a touchdown, then a field goal. Little toss, Mendenhall. Stutter step move for a total of two. Wilford brings him down. Well, Jim, let's go back and look at the sack Lamar Woodley gets. Here he is outside. He's going to come around. And why you do these type of games is just try to confuse the offensive line and who's blocking who. And watch when he gets around there. Nobody sees him. Two guys going to clear the way for him. And that's what you do. You get your best pass rusher. You give him every opportunity to make the play. So he did it that time for Lamar Woodley. And he came through. Second and eight. bounces off the line and nowhere to hide this time either for Roethlisberger is Andre Carter has the sack well when you have a quarterback like Ben Roethlisberger you know you, you don't go oh how, why did you hold the ball uh, you just got to live with this big deal how many times does he hold it move out of there and make a play down the field but it's just good coverage and Andre Carter he is truly one of the hardest workers when it comes to staying with the quarterback he is getting better every single week for this New England defense, and they need a defensive end to be a priority pass rusher, and right now he's the one guy that can do it. It's a nine-yard loss for the Steelers, third and 17. Picked off. That's Guyton. Gary Guyton. Tackled at the nine-yard line by Heath Miller. Well, what happened is Ben Roethlisberger saw Guyton, and it's kind of like Brian Urlacher with the Chicago Bears. You just can't believe how big they are until you see them. So Guyton, six foot four, in the middle, number 59. He thinks he's just going to throw it over him, but you forget. One, he's reading you, so he moves along, and the second gets those arms up, nowhere to throw it. He was going for Emmanuel Sanders, and Guyton gets the big takeaway. Well, a couple plays by the Patriots. Good coverage down the field. Allowed them to turn this game around. Marcus Gilbert, the starting right tackle for Pittsburgh, limps to the sideline. That offensive line has been a mess with all the injuries. Coming off Roethlisberger's first interception in his last 96 passes. Patriots at the eight. It's Falk cutting outside. Kevin Falk. He gets about five as he's tripped up by Keenan Lewis. Logan Mankins helps spring him. I'll tell you why, Kevin Falk looks pretty quick going around the edge. Not afraid. I just I tell you, it says a lot about him. I know we talked about him earlier, Jim, but to be off so long and then come back just during a bye week and this week and ready to play. 
Lines up next to Breda. They love that little shuffle pass to Falk through the years. Yep, always be alert when he's close to the quarterback. It could be a direct snap, not this time, though. On second and goal to the end zone. Caught by Branch. Touchdown. Deion Branch. <laughs> That's something you say a lot here in the past. New England's defense turned it around for them. They get the interception. Deion Branch, top of the screen. Wow, that's nice. If you don't see many offenses throwing that quick out near the goal line, everybody's afraid to because if it's intercepted, it's a touchdown the other way. All won by the move by Deion Branch. And by the way, Kevin Falk picked up the blitz. And Brady now has 23 straight games with a touchdown pass. Extra point by Kostowski is good. All set up by Pittsburgh's first giveaway in 12 quarters. Brady and Branch, and the Patriots are on the board. 10-7, Steelers over New England. Patriots scoring their first touchdown after the takeaway. Antonio Brown expecting a deep kick here by Gostowski. Steps up a few yards and fields it at the three. Three yards deep, that is. And Brown takes it out for 26 yards. Danny Woodhead on the tackle. Steelers last in the league in turnover margin. Finn was disgusted. Brady found Branch for the score. Halloween Monday, Ashton Kutcher, John Cryer star in a disturbingly funny new two and a half men tomorrow only CBS. Isaac Redman in the backfield to begin this drive. Sean Ellis, by the way, banged up and questionable to return. Roethlisberger way back, plants the feet and throws. Got a wide open target. Hits Sanders and McCourty finally with the force out. Not until this one, though, picks up 26. They don't mess around. Pittsburgh, Sanders, top of your screen. Look at that little snake route. Out, up, and stop. And gets to the sideline, and that's the one thing even the Patriots admit. When you watch these receivers for the Pittsburgh Steelers, how much they've improved since week one when we saw them, Jim. And Emmanuel Sanders is the route runner. He's the one that can shake a defender by confusing him on which way he is going to go. They've done well in the draft with these kids. Young money, they call themselves. Sanders, Brown, and Wallace. And here's a running play up the middle with Redman. Brought down by Hainsworth after a gain of five. Yeah, well, it is. I, I, I call it little money because the three of them, you know, there can't be a whole lot there. But they have come through as you look at today's passing by both quarterbacks. How about, though, Jim, really hitting on all three guys none of them of course first rounders no third third and sixth sixth round. brown being in the sixth well, yeah how'd they get him they went to watch a quarterback and said man who's this wide receiver yeah, up at central michigan dan lefever and they saw brown out there and picked them later on in the draft here's roethlisberger tucking it under now throwing and it's wallace Snatching it out of the air, picking up the first down. Brought down by Ninkovic after a gain of seven. Well, when Ben Roethlisberger is in the pocket today, if I could be his coach, I'd say, look, when you don't like what you're seeing, go backwards. In other words, start to drift back because they're trying to stay in front of him as much as they can. That time there was a little lane to the left. Mike Wallace is about the third guy. You see the crossers coming? Good job of not panicking by Ben Roethlisberger and finding Mike Wallace. Where that middle of the field has been open whether it was Wallace on that occasion or Heath Miller six other times. Big linebackers. Goes down at the 39. Roethlisberger tumbles ahead. You know, Jim, if you're going to have really big linebackers, which the Patriots do, it makes you good against the run. Of course, we saw what Guyton could do, knock the pass down, but it's hard for him to cover all the little guys crossing and running in front of him. Take it down. That's a little... Audible by Ben Roethlisberger. Mm. Boy, I'd be careful. Brandon Spikes, there's nothing he likes more than seeing somebody coming right at him where he can come forward and hit you. Excellent game by him last week against the Cowboys two weeks ago against the run. Second and eight. Past the line of scrimmage, I believe. 
And incomplete. Uh, it's got to be pass interference. There's another flag in the backfield, offensive backfield. That was Chung on Wallace. There are two fouls on the play. Illegal hands to the face. Offense number 68, pass interference. Defense number 25. Those fouls offset. Second down. So Mike Carey has it all figured out. And here's the first one. Chris came on to number 68 right in front of Ben Roethlisberger on the face mask. Trying to slow down Gerard Warren. Here's the call on Chung. Yep, jumps on the back. Minden Hall back in. So they replay the down, second and eight. Oh, nice catch. Antonio Brown got a first down. Well, it's interesting what they do here. They mix it up with the outside receiver. Let's watch it. Mike Wallace is to the weak side. All three. Here's Mike Wallace. The play is meant to throw here, but if Roethlisberger likes this route, he takes it at the snap of the ball. Well, defender's off. Why not take it? Man, how about that? That goes, Jim. Great catch. Could have been an interception if it slips through his hands. Picked up nine. And a new set of downs. Oh, and that one slips through the hands of Redmond. Who was ready to take off a little too soon. Well, that's probably the Steeler offense. It's become so multiple. It is. We've talked about the receivers, the tight ends. They do so many different things. And what what has opened up in the passing game, Jim, is the running backs. Because you, hey, here all these other guys are going down the field. You're enamored with them. And Ben Roethlisberger has been dropping it off to the running back lately and getting big yards with it. Inside of five minutes to go, second quarter. Second and ten. That's Wallace hanging out alone at the 15, takes it to the 13. Gain of 14. Well, you got to blame the defensive line here. You're a defensive back. Watch Roethlisberger looking to the right. No, no, and then able to turn to the backside. So he looked so long to the right that it opens up the middle of the field because everybody is going to follow the quarterback's eyes. Takes a lot of throws to be to train yourself to go from one side of the field to the other like that and still throw it on target. Eighth play of the drive. Redmond swallowed up after two. Redmond on the carry. Roethlisberger, for only the fourth time in his career, has thrown it yeah. over 25 times in a first half. Look at those numbers, 27, Tom Brady, 7. You know, I talked to a lot of people this week. Everybody always asked me about the game I'm doing. I said, look, let's get over this. The Steelers got to get back to Steeler football. Steeler football now is what? It's Ben Roethlisberger throwing the football. They're going to win and lose by his success. Second and eight. That's red money. Dumps it off to. And he collides with Wilfork. Pass so third down on the way. They've moved Jonathan Scott now over to right tackle. Well, what they do here, Jim, little inside screen, play action, look to the right, and Redmond sits in that little pocket. Starks gets out, makes the block, K.O. Matu. And if Redmond would have just stayed right up the line he was at, that would have gone way inside the five-yard line. But good downfield blocking by these Steelers' offensive linemen. We've been so dangerous in this half on third down. Always got to watch the quarterback. Third and four. And Roethlisberger has an open target. It's Brown. And he's across for the touchdown. Antonio Brown. Seven-yard score. Hey, 
Hey, it's all about this offensive line. That's what's doing it. Three-man rush. This time, Roethlisberger really stays patient and stays back. So he gives himself that extra split second, and that's what enabled him to find the receiver, Redmond, out in the corner for the touchdown. Antonio Brown, extra point good, had come into the game with the most receiving yards in the league without a touchdown. His first career touchdown reception. Well, the Steelers have had four possessions. Three of them were long drives, all 10 plus. And the other was the pass interception. It led to the only New England points of the half. Control of the clicker. Well, let me see if I could tell you why he was wide open for the touchdown. Here's Mike Wallace. He's going to go inside. When he does, Molden, the corner, says, okay, I don't have him. I'll go back and help here. So once he goes inside, lets him go, he drops back to help out. And then what happens when Mike Wallace comes back out? Nobody there to cover him. That's why he was wide open for the touchdown. Brown had had one kickoff return for a touchdown a year ago. But that's his first touchdown reception. And first and ten open is Gronkowski. The man who caught three touchdowns here last year in his rookie return to Pittsburgh where he went to high school his senior year. That picks up 23. You know, I always say this, Jim. We've done, of course, we do a lot of Patriots games. Why would you go for a fake against the New England Patriots? Let them run the ball. Make them run the ball. Mike Tomlin said it. Boy, I hope they run the ball, try to run it 30 times during the game. Green Ellis, he'll run with it. But not very far. Timmons and Monday double up on him. That time for only a three-yard gain. He'll hit the two-minute warning. The Patriots will have a couple of timeouts to operate with when we come back. Pittsburgh, 17-7. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Coming up, the Sprint Halftime Report. J.B. Dan, Shannon Boomer, Coach Cower. Scores and highlights, Sprint Halftime Report. Second down for the Patriots. And it's going against them here for five. Full start. Offense number 70. Five-yard penalty is still set. Twice now on Mankins. Well, he took no chance. Well, if I fall started, I'll get me a good Yeah, go ahead and make, the, in here. make yeah. the most of it on Kiesel. How about this? All season long, through the first six games, they trailed for 22 minutes, 11 seconds. Basically already matching that here in the first half today. Second and 12 from the 41. That's Welker, wanting to make a move on Taylor, who shoves him out of bounds near the 50. Brady's pass complete to Welker. Ike Taylor, kind of like we saw, Jim, we saw Darrell Rebus, a corner going inside and covering the best receiver. Ike Taylor, Pittsburgh's best corner, going inside, tough spot to play against Wes Welker. And picked up 10, third and short. Again, the Patriots have two timeouts if they can extend this drive. Nice grab. That was Welker reaching up for it. Where's the spot? They give him the first. Well, so much ground to cover if you're Ike Taylor. Wes Welker always inside. So it's deep, out, and in. There's a three-way go for him. On first down, Brady thought about it. Tucks it under. Now looks and guns it out of bounds. Brady's that was Gronkowski down there. Well, we were, we were. This time again, tight coverage. Wes Welker in the slot. Ike Taylor, when he goes upfield like that, it's going to stay on the inside. Gronkowski not open either. This is definitely a different plan by this Steelers defense. Said it early. It's even more true now. It's a pattern. Look at them. Everybody lined up against the receiver right now at the line of scrimmage. Polamalu, who's dropped back now all the way to the 28. Second down and 10. 
Bogomolo riding the back of Gronkowski. Finding out it takes a lot to bring him down. Tries to piggyback him. It gains 18. Well, the difference, how about that? One-on-one, -on -one, the tight end, defensive back, it doesn't matter. Gronkowski, Aaron Hernandez, both good enough to get away from most defensive backs in the middle of the field. From the 30, inside of a minute, Woodley is in on him again, wraps him up. Second sack of the game for Lamar Woodley at a timeout New England. Got him for 15 earlier in this quarter. This one, another seven yards. There he is on the outside, Lamar Woodley. It's a short race. Who wins the start? That time it was Lamar Woodley. So it's a little short sprint. And if you're the Steeler defense, don't give up the big plays. Sooner or later, you say, our guy, 56, will get there. They've been rotating at right tackle, Vollmer and Solder. It was Vollmer in on that last play. Woodley coming around them. Second and 17. And that incomplete. Intended for Gronkowski. Well, I think so far, when you look at this game, Dick LeBeau said when you play a great quarterback, let's don't help him out. So, so far, no mental mistakes by his defense. The penalties have been low. You haven't seen broken assignments. So, they're, it's pretty simple. Line up, cover your guy man-to-man -man wherever he goes. Third and 17, and there it is. The direct snap to Falk. And Paul Amaro goes out of bounds. At about the 28, there's a little bit of a bobble. And then Falk able to secure it. Well, what it does, Jim, and that's all it was designed to do. Let's get ourselves in position for a better field goal try. Good call. Yep, got it close enough for it to be inside of 50. Be about a 46-yard try. Mesco on the hold. The longest ever by an opponent in this stadium is 50, so it doesn't happen that often particularly into this end zone. 46 yards. Gostowski's kick is good. So the fault run does indeed make the kick a little simpler for Gostowski, who drills it. 17-10, Steelers. That was a 10-play drive for the Patriots, and they got it down to 29 seconds to go in the half. Remember, they will be receiving the second-half kickoff. Again, coming up, the Sprint Halftime Report, the complete report from JB of the early game finals and what's happening here in the late afternoon, including Buffalo over Washington and Detroit three touchdowns up on Denver as Tebow's having a rough go of it today, completing only three passes so far. There's Brown. His kick, not that deep. Steps up to the four. And Ninkovic is the one. No, actually, that was Tracy White. Holds it to a 20-yard run back. Now, how about Lamar Woodley today? Chasing Tom Brady. Need to get to the 32. I mean, it's really, when you look at him, just look at the size. So, he is a defensive lineman with linebacker speed. That's why he's able to play both positions. That's what he is. You know, he's a linebacker. But when in doubt, you look at him and you prepare for the Steelers, you say, okay, who's the guy we worry about rushing the passer? There's probably just one. That's Lamar Woodley right now. Especially with Lawrence Timmons up on the line of scrim scrimmage taking James Harrison's place. So with 25 seconds, they end up running it with Moore. Nice little wiggle. And breaks another tackle, picks up 16. Now they may take that timeout. Absolutely. With that run, that's why you do that. Get some cheap yards, take the timeout. Ball spotted at the 40 with 15 seconds. They have one timeout left. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Actually, 16 seconds to go here. And a timeout. And the ball at the 40. Needs help. 
That's Sanders to the New England 48. And they call the timeout at seven. That's now Ben's 30th pass attempt. Most he's ever had in a first half in his career. That's 22 of 30 for Roethlisberger and two touchdowns. Man, 22 completions. I'd have been excited to throw it 22 times a game. <laughs> yeah. What are we kidding? It's a new age, but what do we say? This, this is who the Steelers are. And especially, you're not going to line up and make a living running the football at this Patriots defense anyway. You've got to look towards the sideline. They added and a second him. to eight seconds. Roethlisberger. Leaves it down the field, and that was in the area of Sanders, and time has run out. Seventeen ten is your halftime score. Hold on, the officials are saying Mike Carey standing at midfield, calming him back. Mike Carey is going to add a couple of seconds and give the Steelers a chance to have one more Hail Mary. Clever little play they ran at time, but New England, it, what was neat, they put everybody on the sideline. So playing the situation, being ready for the situation, that, that's what the New England defense had going for at the last half. Big Ben got his nickname from a 73-yard Hail Mary at his sophomore year at Miami University against Akron. And he's not going all the way down the field. Instead, dumps it underneath. And Moore picks up a lot of yardage, but that'll run out the half. 24 yards on the play. 17-10. Pittsburgh at the intermission. Sprint halftime report coming up after this message and a word from your local station. Back here at Heinz Field, where New England has its first halftime deficit in its last nine regular season games. And let's take a look at the NFL Mobile Recap presented by Verizon. Roethlisberger to Brown for Ben's second touchdown toss of that first half. Meanwhile, Brady's favorite targets have been pretty quiet so far, Phil. Welker has three catches for 19 yards. His tight ends have three total catches. Hard to get catches when you're not on the field. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a little change up, Jim, by the Steeler defense that we've talked about. That I, I don't think you can catch any offense or team by surprise in the NFL, but the tight man to man coverage the Steelers have used, it's been very effective so far. When they have been on the field, talking about the Patriots, uh, that Steeler defense has looked perhaps the best it's looked all season. Getting to Brady a couple of times, four and dives down at the 21. You were listening to the gang back in the studio. We were talking about it as well, about the margin being seven, but it felt like it could have been much larger than that. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bill Cowher was right. All the great things that go for it, you go, wow, we're only up 17 to 10. And the, uh, the other side is through the Patriots. I'm sure Bill Belichick went in there, guys, we cannot play worse, but we can tie it up at the start of the second half, we got possession. They put Green Ellis behind Brady. Green Ellis a little gimpy all week. Still battling a toe injury. Only one wide out. That's Welker. Six linemen and the toss to Green Ellis. What a hit. That's Ryan Clark comes up with the big smash. Mm. And Lawrence Timmons in on it, too. But Clark with a big blow. Well, they are playing fast on the defensive side. 25, Ryan Clark reads the run right away. It comes from the middle of the field. And then the other guy, how about that 94? Lawrence Timmons, all the way across the formation, gets in on the tackle. A lot of plays for a lot of these Steeler defenders. They're out there every single snap. Brady in trouble has to step up away from the contact and throws it over the head of Welker. Boy, Lamar Woodley was in there quickly again. New England, 83 total yards. 
in their touchdown drive covered nine yards after the Guyton interception and Roethlisberger 23 of 32 231 and a couple of touchdown throws Ocho Cinco is on the field here on third and nine. Chad at the bottom of your screen. Brady again. Faces quick pressure and ball is fumbled out of bounds. That was Gronkowski and Cortez Allen taking hold of him, keeping him a yard short of a first. They'll have to punt. Well, they stay aggressive. Look at the blitz by the Steelers. That is Kiesel coming around like a linebacker standing up and then the tight coverage down the field and being aggressive once they catch it. Stop the first down. Allen does his job well. So they open each half with three plays and a punt. There's a new look for the Steelers defense. They get a few things in their pocket maybe for the second half. Antonio Brown backpedals to the 16. Slater ends the run back after a 53-yard punt. Nine-yard return, so the Pittsburgh defense stars at the start of this quarter. Two to one, time of possession. Jim Nance, Bill Sims here in Pittsburgh. Steelers come out with the spread. That's a little low for Antonio Brown. You know, Heinz Ward not playing today. I was seeing a lot of Brown, but I'll tell you, Heinz Ward is in this game. Oh, yeah. He got a lot invested in this football team, no doubt about it. What did Mike Tomlin say about him? If he's not in uniform today, we might it. have to put him up at the press box <laughs> <laughs> to harness him. And he was, that was uh, coming over after Brown scored a touchdown. Well, he has done a, he is a true leader, and he has helped all these young wide receivers. They talk about him like he is their father. Second down run, nice hurdle move. That's Mendenhall galloping for the first. Well, let's see. They may have marked it a little short of the chains. Yet another lineman. Looks well, like he might be hurt. Ramon Foster. Well, Chris K. Amatu, the left guard, the best puller in the group, lead blocker, did a great job opening the hole up that time for Mendenhall. Foster stays out there. Well, the quarterback sneak. They're gonna. They're playing for it on defense. Pittsburgh no huddle, and it is back to Mendenhall. Well, they did pick up the first there on third and a yard. That was actually third and one. Good piece of hard running by Mendenhall. No huddle here, Phil. And then Hall again gets the call. That gets him four. You know, Jim, they're standing. They're going with this no huddle because they want to keep it going. You know who you're playing. Don't make the mistake and say, oh, I like the way the game is going. Let's see if we can manage it. No, you have to go on attack. Tom Brady and that offense, you always have to think if you're on the other sideline, they will get hot. And your quarterback's playing pretty well himself, so don't take it out of his hands. He's having a big day except for one throw. And that's Brown. Oh, breaking tackles and almost getting free. He's got another first down. Well, you talked about it early, uh, earlier in the game. The tackling, they are breaking a lot of tackles, the Steeler runners are. And look at the receivers, the determination. And we've had some shots of Bill Belichick just mad because he can't believe the guys are not ramping up and bringing down these runners. And this is what he saw when he reviewed all the teams coming out of a bye. Sloppy tackling in that first game back. He was concerned about it all week. Telling us last night saw that consistently in reviewing those teams' performances. First down play. And Roethlisberger's back to Miller. There is a flag down. They're going to call a pick probably on Emmanuel Sanders. I think. They faked the outside screen and went deep down the field. Get them reacting to what you've done in the game and take advantage of that and do something different. That's what they did. 
Pass interference. Offense number eight blocking downfield before the pass. Ten yard penalty is still first. Takes away a 16 yard play. In the slot. Emmanuel Sanders. Oh, he makes contact before the football. Yes, good call. You got to know, just run down there and just actually get in front of him. Don't do anything. And if he starts to run, just run in front of him. I've seen a few times this year where offensive players have done that. It's a great tactic. See it on special teams, too. Sets them back to their own 47. First and 20, across the middle, right back to the man who was penalized. That is Sanders for about eight. You can follow the NFL while on the go, the NFL's mobile apps, all new for the 2011 season. To get the apps, go to NFL.com slash mobile. We'll call it second and 13. Uh, you're booing. Mike Carey was allowing New England to get ready. There were substitutions on the offense. You have to allow the defense time to react. To go with Redmond. He ran into his own player. Ran into Starks. And he loses two yards. Well, let's be Isaac Redmond. We're the running back. It's going to be the delay draw to the left. Oh, it looks good. Oops, closes up. Nobody hits him. They just squeeze the blockers down inside. Good job by New England. Now I'm going to be third and 15. Got to get down to the 33 for a first. Milwaukee Moore in the backfield. Roethlisberger. Wide open. First down with Sanders. <laughs> Noeldy Moore held off the blitz. Sanders is in the slot going right down the middle of the field. Oh, what a nice route. He knew the linebackers were to go back to first down depth, so he ran to him and then broke away. And perfect throw by Ben Roethlisberger. That play was designed strictly to throw it to Emmanuel Sanders. With Mendenhall back in, he goes off the left side for about three. Well, we saw the Steelers on Friday, Jim, and, you know, Ben Roethlisberger, he was out there working in no huddle, and I said, oh, okay, you guys, just, is that going to be the thing? Y'all going to, I said, no, man, we do that every week. And I asked him how it worked. He has total control of formations and plays himself when they're in their no huddle. Second and seven, telling us he'd like to be a coach after his playing days. Yeah, how about that? Not Where? in the NFL either, like at the high school level. He'd like to be a quarterback coach. Well, it's just to be around kids, so if he does, that's awesome. Fires it open, Brown at the 10. These receivers are wide open. They are, what did we say early in the game? They feel like, what a route, inside stem, goes up the field, breaks out, Roethlisberger drills it. The Steelers feel like their receivers are better than the guys are going to cover them, and so far that has been true in this game. They're in the midst of now their fourth drive of at least ten plays. Go with your strength against what you perceive their weakness. That's thrown against the New England defense. On first down, Roethlisberger rolling out. Buying time and throwing it away. Well, that New England defense, that secondary that this week saw Lee Bodden waived. Josh Barrett is inactive with a thumb injury. Dowling was put on IR. Nobody open when Roethlisberger looked. It is covered, and even when he redirects, that, Heath Miller looks like he's open, but that play was designed to go to the left side. That's why he was open. But the big thing is, you got to give New England defense credit, Jim. The receiver stopped, broke the routes off. New England was right there to adjust. Timeout, Pittsburgh. 
Seven minutes to go, third quarter. Seems like their offense has been on the field almost all day long. Steelers break huddle. Second and 10 at the 11. Roethlisberger has now thrown in his last five quarters of action against Pittsburgh for almost 600 yards. 577. Across the middle. And tackled at the five. That was Sanders. And Spikes closed in on him quickly. They bring Redmond in for this third down. We'll see what Arian sends in. Wow, they're going to get up and challenge the receivers. Make the give, the throw, nothing there. No flag either. They had double coverage, both Ihedibo and Arrington. He had it well covered on Antonio Brown. You said it right. What a bluff by the Patriots defense. I thought, oh, it's going to be a blitz, but they drop back. And they're not going to get picked this time. And that is absolutely not a penalty. He had a bowl. is standing there. That's his ground. The receiver runs into him. So Sean Sweezum comes back out. He hit his first six field goals of the season. And then was five out of nine for a stretch. But one of one today. This from 21. Oh, well, he's good again. And it's back to a 10-point margin for the third time today. They keep it, the Steelers do, for almost half the quarter. Netting a field goal, driving 70 yards. And tonight on 60 Minutes, what did Bernie Madoff's family know about the biggest financial fraud in history? You'll hear it all when his wife and son break their silence on 60 Minutes tonight only CBS. Oh. Hello, I'm Mike Wallace. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh. oh, look at that ball by uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Mr. Oh, yeah. that is, they, I didn't even see the ball. That's great. And they have Rooney. That's typical of my school days. I didn't read the whole thing. <laughs> I know the answer. Mike Wallace. And Danny Wood heads out to the 21. Monday on the tackle there. Well, Brady and the Patriots offense. Will they get in gear? We'll find out in a moment. Jim Nance Bill Sims back here in Pittsburgh. Six minutes to go in the quarter. Gronkowski is open. And that's Hernandez with a big block on Monday. That is a flag on the sideline after a 19-yard gain. Was that a late hit, Jim? I, I was watching. I just looked like he was running out of bounds. They both tried to hit each other. And I was watching Hernandez's pancake of Monday. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 25, helmet to helmet contact on a player out of bounds, 15 yards. Automatic. First down. Ryan Clark called for that. Watch this block. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Didn't see the last hit. Definitely. Uh, it's clear. Gronkowski is out of bounds. And then Ryan Clark trying to give him one more shot before the play is over. That shot cost his team 15 yards. Ball at the 45. Brady rolls out and completes it to the 35 to Branch. 
Woodley is down after rushing the quarterback. Woodley just kind of pulled up as he was coming around the edge. And it's an injury timeout. Lamar Woodley coming from the outside. He just pulls up. Could be a cramp. He's still standing on the sideline. Of course, the Steelers hope it's that's what it is. Branch darts ahead to the 26. Runs out of his shoe, picks up eight after 11 on the previous play. And Brady over 100 passing for the game on this drive. Staggering the wide receivers outside is a good ploy for the Patriots. It backs the defender off. Of course, now you can get a free run if you're going down the field. But also, it opens up those wide receiver screens, which we just saw to Deion Branch. Green Ellis. And that's Chris Carter who makes the tackle who came in for Woodley. Well, this linebacking crew for Pittsburgh already with Harrison out. World's also inactive. Right. And without James Ferrier, that's James right there. Out with a calf injury and now Woodley injured on this series. Well, what Mike Tomlin said, well, we just take turns. It was offensive line, then our defensive line, and everybody was hurt. Now our linebackers, they just deal with it. Players getting a chance to play, but have been waiting a long time. After Green Ellis picked up the first. Patriots are going to be backed Office up by. Offense number 72, five-yard penalty. Still first. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. And the Kraft family. Robert Kraft getting even some calls even in the press. You got to come in here and see if you can help the NBA finally resolve things. As much of a big hand he had in ending the lockout in the NFL. From the 29, first and 15. Brady pump fake wanted it. Has to go with the underneath option to Welker as Branch was covered down near the goal line. Well, they're looking for ways to get some big passing yards. Tom Brady's going to look to his left. It's a little double move. And one of the few times the defender is not up at the line of scrimmage. So Tom Brady has to throw it short. And they have double coverage on Wes Welker. Look at that good coverage down the field. Welker with four catches for 23 yards. Steelers confirm left hamstring injury for Woodley questionable. Second and 11. And batted down. He was trying to hit Hernandez. Kiesel was the one who got a hand on it. Well, it's it's they know they're getting tight man to man coverage. You see the block outside Gronkowski blocks Lewis who's covering Hernandez. But how about Timmons recognizes the play and it's going to be there even if the football is not tipped. Talking about reading your keys. Dick LeBeau is going to be proud to this point his defense not making mistakes on third and 11. Malu ends that one in a hurry. Falk with the catch. Good for only two. They'll have to bring out Gustowski. It's good timing on the blitz. Ziggy Hood unblocked gets in there and Troy Polamalu. He has been close to having some big plays today. That time gets the tackle. Gustowski will try to trim this to a seven point game again. He was good from 46 in the second quarter. This is 42 yards. Gostowski this time hits the upright and it's no good. You 
can tell he didn't hit it perfectly, Jim. You know why I always look at the footballs? All the spin. It was spinning so hard. Didn't. Well, how about that? The result of the That's from the goalpost cam. <laughs> There you go, Dick LeBeau. Really, how about him? He's the man on Fridays that goes out to practice, gets in the middle of all the players, and does a little chant and gets them all fired up. We saw it. Roethlisberger, pressure from behind, balls out. He was hit by Andre Carter. Back on the play. And Roethlisberger got it back. How about that, Andre Carter? We talked about him early in the game. Coming on the outside, he just never, never stops. Max Starks is going, my gosh, I'm, I'm blocking. He almost falls down, and he still gets a sack and causes the fumble. Andre Carter been on so many teams, hey, bad teams. Comes to New England, looking to play in the playoffs. And of course, help the football team too. Pass incomplete. Headed for Brown. With Sergio Brown guarding. You know, they played here last year in a night game. And the fourth quarter, it really broke loose. I mean, Pittsburgh scored 23 points in the fourth quarter last year. New England won the game 39 to 26. Again, 23 to 3 after 3. Then things suddenly opened up. We go back to that fourth quarter factoring in those numbers, and that's how you get to 585. Man. Third down, third and 12. Roethlisberger again has a wide open target on third and long. This time it's Antonio Brown at the 50. How about that offensive line? It's a blitz. It is just. They knock it down. Look at the space. He waits and just smokes in an in cut to Antonio Brown. Patrick Chung, safety against Antonio Brown. That is one tough matchup. You know, this offensive line, you said it the second, the first time all year they've had a repeat offensive line from one week to the other. That's amazing. Ben's over 300 for the game. And it goes to the ground with... Mindenhall for three. So I, I brought up that question to Ben Roethlisberger. I was kind of like looking for some guys like, hey, it's okay, you know, Ben, you're toughing it out with a lot. Oh, no. No, well, guys, I like them. We got a, what do you say? We got a bunch of dogs up front. Yeah. And I, that That's explained it all. Yeah. That was a huge compliment. Fighters, tough guys. The two best qualities you want in offensive linemen. Looks over to Mendenhall, who's in that slot to the right. Second and seven with seconds to go in the third. That's because it's coming to Richard, who is tackled at the 35 and another first down. A run, a pass and run for 12 yards. 20 to 10 going to the fourth. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Well, the quarterbacks through three quarters. 125 for Brady and Roethlisberger. And that offense has been out there all game long. Over 300. And they start the fourth with a first down at the New England 35. Miller again, stretching it out, trying to get that first. Be a little bit short. You know what happens too, Jim? New England doesn't have a great pass rush to begin with. But you look at all those throws. Pittsburgh has been on the offense, uh, been on the field all day long. So how can you even muster up a pass rush? The only way you're going to get it now probably is to blitz. They did this last play. On second and short. Brown with Chung and a flag with a face mask. 
Dangerous play, though. Boy, it was, wasn't it? Dangerous. For a minute, it looked like it was just going to be out there hanging up for someone to Personal pick. Personal foul. Face mask, number 25, from the dead ball spot. 15 yards, automatic. First down. Oh, boy. And you, again, it's a run. And even if it's the personal foul doesn't happen, you're only going to get one or two yards there. Boy, good job by Antonio Brown going with it, not fighting it. So the face mask penalty brings it down to the 12-yard line. You know, I New England's defense, play safe now. Just don't give up the touchdown. Just don't take a chance. Roethlisberger looked right, now goes left. And it's Wallace bouncing off a hit. And then brought down in traffic. Pick up a five. We hear it every week from quarterbacks, Jim. Uh, it gets tough in the NFL when you're playing a talented group. New England knows how to play red zone defense. What do you do? How do you get it in the end zone? Look at these uh, possessions. You, know, you, five, you strike the one right before the half because they had about 20 seconds to work with. 11 plays, 16 plays, the pick drive. 10 plays, 10, then 14, and now this is play number nine. Mendenhall, early contact. And maybe a yard. Philip Adams is out there in that Mendenhall secondary. Again, a reworked New England secondary, and that's being exposed again here today. Yeah, it's been tough. And you know, when your quarterback, of course, Roethlisberger, his talent, the receivers are good. And They're the biggest five. thing, Jim, is the time line. that he gets the throw. The initial coverage many times today has been good by the Patriots defense. But that second look, when you give a quarterback a second look. Those numbers are going to go way up in the favor of the offense. They can pick up a first at the two. It's going to be on Gilbert. Offense number 77. Five-yard penalty still third down. Right tackle, Marcus Gilbert. And again, as you pointed out, if you're New England and you can hold them to a field goal, you keep it a two-score differential. Third down and 10 from the 12. Ben's going to call a timeout. He's upset about the formation. Maybe the substitutes in there. They're down to one timeout. Third down coming up out of the break. 12.07 to play. 20 to 10. Pittsburgh. Big third down coming up. Well, you know, this is so tough for an offense. All you think as a quarterback here, don't take a chance. You can already see New England's going to build like a little shield near the goal line. And try to keep all the passes in front. Make the tackle. Complete at the five, and that's what the shield was intended for. They'll have to bring out the field goal unit. That's what the Patriots were willing to give up. Absolutely. Once, once they blitzed at about the 30-yard line, and they did not get the sack or the hit or anything on Ben Roethlisberger, and all of a sudden now you as a head coach, a defensive coordinator, it's about give them the field goal try. Nothing more. Sean Sweezum, he's hit two of two today. 33, 21, and now that's from 23. Now up to a 13-point margin. 23 to 10 in the fourth, Steelers. Well, another field goal by Sweezum. He's hit two in this half. And another... Long drive, 11 plays. Woodhead, he's returning today with Edelman inactive. Not returning this one, though. By the way, Saturday night, one against two. LSU and Alabama. Primetime on CBS. 
Vern Lundquist, Gary Danielson, Tracy Wolfson, they'll all be there. LSU, Alabama. Two best defenses in the country. You know Alabama's defense has got to be really good. You know why? Because Nick Saban said, this, this, we have a chance to have the best defense I've ever coached. Now, he comes from the school Bill Belichick. They don't make any statements. So when I heard the kind of like a comment like that, I go, wow. They must be, be really good then. They're good. Look at the time of possession. 34 to 14. Brady. Now he heaves it down the field. And it's broken up by Taylor. The pass was going to Taylor Price, who's been in on a lot of snaps today. Second year receiver. Well, Taylor Price gives him some speed off. Tom Brady had time right from the get-go. It was open, and the football just doesn't quite flush it because he's moving. I'm not sure they didn't make a mistake in that coverage. Ike Taylor had outside technique, and there was nobody deep to help him. Ike Taylor's first ever interception was on Halloween Day 04. Picking off Tom Brady. And that's ball for eight. Sets up third and two. By the way, we heard Woodley with the left hamstring injury. Questionable. He's now on the sideline with a helmet off. What a job, though, by this patchwork Pittsburgh defense. Players like Chris Carter and Stevenson Sylvester having to see a lot of action today. Third and two, open, and a first. That is Gronkowski. And it's a rodeo ride every single time he catches it. Picks up 10. Couple times what they're doing, it's just called tight, it's 10. Tight end delay. So he's standing in the backfield acting like he's gonna block, and whoever's covering him is leaving him. That's why he's been wide open here in the last two series. Ocho Cinco to the near side. He has not caught one today. Has nine catches on the season. Brady is looking his way. Now he's going to go to Ocho Cinco, and it's over the top and incomplete. That was Lewis on the coverage. Boy, Keenan Lewis, he has been, he has been really good today. Bottom of your screen against Ocho Cinco. Good job, cuts him off, and now just can outrun him to the football. This is a Pittsburgh defense that does not give up the long ball. Only one pass to an opponent's wide receiver has gone for 30 yards this season. That was Larry Fitzgerald for 31. That's it. They don't give up that big ball. Second and 10. Hernandez on the end around, and boy, there was traffic immediately right on the exchange. Chris Carter was in there. How about that Steelers secondary, Bill? Well, it's it's still a long way to go, but how about the coverage? Man to man, everybody. Wes Welker, Polamalu on Gronkowski. They have been. I, I have not seen this aggressiveness from the Steelers defense and covering New England in any of the games I've watched in a long time. On third and ten. Now the flags. Brady, deep trouble. Able to flip it to Falk. <laughs> who swarmed under at the 34. You would think it's got to be a hold. Now we got a Pittsburgh Steeler player in Falk. Alerting them it's uh, an injury he's concerned about too. Personal foul. Top block, number 33 went low while his teammate was high. 15 yard penalty. Kevin Falk, there's on the right of your screen, going low. Sebastian Volmar blocking. Injury timeout, and we'll be right back.
That was Ike Taylor who had been down for a while. He was hit in the head inadvertently by Brian Waters who was flying through. But thankfully, Taylor able to walk off under his own power. They declined the penalty, so they punted away with 8.49 to play. This was the injury. Coming across Brian Waters, 54, right in there. His right elbow hit Ike Taylor in the helmet. Of course, Brian Waters, a big guy running full speed. Well, an 8 central showtime. Well, Don't miss it. I wonder if my buddy Warren Sapp still thinks that Steeler defense is slow. Did he say that? Yeah, he said they're old and slow. This burger comes out, connecting with Wallace, who is twisted out of bounds. Chung has to let go to avoid the penalty. Picks up 15. And you know what this is? When you're ahead like this, 13 points late in the game, you say, run the ball. This was a run. It's an outside run. Look at the blocking up front. Antonio Brown, Emmanuel Sanders, everybody doing it all. Got the trio there, Jim. Yeah, the trio. And boy, was Roethlisberger effusive in his praise for them about how passionate they are about trying to improve. Antonio Brown is the hardest worker on the team. That's Mendenhall finding room outside. And there was Antonio Brown helping block on the outside. Picks up 18. Well, it's you've been on the field so much sooner or later you've got to get tired but this is another guy he's a game breaker how about that that run was supposed to go over the left guard he gets all the way outside the tight end on the right and gains those yards Just the big thing is make sure the play clock is inside of five before you snap it. And off, nice jump cut, Mendenhall for two. Yeah, those three receivers, Brown, Sanders, and Wallace. They hang out together. There's Wallace, who he pretty much lives at the facility. <laughs> Wallace, he's his, he eats his breakfast there, yeah. has his lunch, and takes his dinner home. It's like that movie with Tom uh, Hanks, you know, Terminal. He lives in the Terminal. That's, right. uh, eat all your meals. They got enough entertainment there to whatever, and Mike Tomlin loves it. Keep them there. They're always talking some football. Of course, they eat good, too. Wallace was excited because his mother was up from New Orleans this week, so he's getting some home cooking. That's Redman. Wow. Okay, Moyatu was out there. So was Heath Miller. Another five yards. Look at that offensive line. They're excited. There is nothing like this part of the game, I would imagine, for an offensive lineman to, when you start running the football, that's going to make them all the happiest because that's saying, hey, I am I am whipping you. You're right in front of me, and I'm winning the war. Word from the sideline, Taylor was a stinger. He suffered questionable to be back in there. This is big. The third and three. Hold him to a field goal here. It's still a two-score game. Roethlisberger just lobs it away from everyone. And another Sweezum appearance on the way. So we haven't had a touchdown in this half on either side. 21. We got down in the red zone a couple of times. Settling for short field goals. Just outside of the red zone on this journey. But it'll set up a 44-yard field goal attempt. Him. Not this time. So the Patriots will take over at the 34. There's still time. Six minutes, three seconds to go. It's been all Pittsburgh. Steelers leading it 23 to 10. After the missed field goal, New England 
at the 33. And Welker. And flying in there after him. Welker's hurt. Polamalu. Ike Taylor's back in the game. Has Welker. Look at Troy Polamalu reading the quarterback. He sees the crosser, so he knows he can fly up there and make this tackle. Mm. Fortunate, it's not a penalty. Close to a face mask, no doubt. Well, it you. Mike Taylor's back in. He's at the top of the screen. Second down and two. And that picks up a first with Branch, who's out of bounds at the 43 of the Steelers. Picks up 16. Well, those are some tough throws Tom Brady is making. They throw that football into tight coverage. Receiver breaking away from you to the sideline. Welker's in a slot to the left. Couldn't keep him out for long. And that's Gronkowski at the 33 with Ryan Clark bouncing him out. In a crucial part of the game, kind of reminds me of two weeks ago. You know they're throwing it. The protection in this drive, very good for Tom Brady. Talking about the end of the game against Dallas? Yes, two weeks ago against the Cowboys. That pass was good enough for another first. Dump it, middle, open, fall. 20-15. Uh, they caught him that time. They thought, we'll blitz. Kevin Falk will pick up. But he does it. Well, they, oh, he gets caught. Foot tries to get outside, but Patriots had that play ready. Larry Foot not able to get there quick enough. Another first down at the 15. As Welker. And it's Taylor who sends him out at the 7. That's tough. They stack these receivers. Oh, that was nice. Nice move. Fakes like he's going to go across the field. Breaks out. Wes Welker so quick. Brady, five for five on this drive to four different targets. Woodley's out. No pressure on the quarterback. Brady throws incomplete. Gronkowski and Hernandez so tough. And that was Hernandez this time. William Gay on the coverage. Of course, Gronkowski caught three touchdowns in the game here last year. Coming back to Pittsburgh where he attended Woodland Hills High School in the area his senior year. They can pick up the first at the five. Carter in for Woodley may be the culprit here. Neutral zone infraction. Defense number 54 jumped into the neutral zone with an immediate reaction by the offensive player. Has to listen to the goal. Results first down. Now well, the Kraft family holding out hope. These franchises and families so accustomed to so many tight battles and victory in the end. There's the Roonies. Art on the front row. Ambassador Dan Rooney in from Ireland, standing up in the back. First and goal, and Brady throw too high. Went back to Branch. It was Lewis running with him. Top of the screen, Dion Branch release inside, comes across. Mm, just the football gets away from Tom Brady. For those of you expecting to see 60 Minutes, you're watching the NFL on CBS, Patriots, Steelers. 60 Minutes will be seen in its entirety right after the game, except on the West Coast. 
Ranch was hurt on that last play, so Price has replaced him. And this time it's going to be on Bulmer. Ball start. Offense number 76. Five yard penalty is still second. It's the fourth false start of the day for New England. Well, when you watch this drive so far, this is, the, to me, the crispest drive that New England has had all day. The only long drive. Tom Brady getting time. The receivers have separated for him in most of these plays. It's second and goal. He's got the time, and he's got the target. Gronkowski caught it on the goal line, and they say he was not across. I thought he might have been across, but they're going to go with the hurry up here. They would only, Bill Belichick would have to challenge, since it was not ruled, a touchdown. Boy, it sure did look like he caught it right on the goal line, breaking the plane. Not only that, it's taken away a lot of time. Third and goal. And bouncing back, Falk. He was hit by Ryan Clark. So reminiscent of that long ago fourth down throw against Indianapolis. How about that? Looks like it's going to be a touchdown. Ryan Clark, how about that speed and reaction to come up there and make that hit? Mark it on the one. Branches back in. Fourth and goal. Brady's pass is flagged down. It was intercepted by Monday, but it's going to be a call, it looks like, against Pittsburgh. Holding. Defense, number 29. Has to distance the goal. Automatic. First down. In the slot, Monday against Gronkowski. Yes, two hands around the waist. The penalty keeps him in the game. And Gronkowski was celebrating the flag even before it was picked. Here was the pass to Gronkowski. Oh, there we go. It was a touchdown. Possession of the football immediately. Clean catch. New England still has three timeouts and the two-minute warning if they score where they'd have a chance of getting it back. The pressure, the pass is caught by Hernandez for the touchdown. And, of course, that, Jim, you just go back to that that penalty if Monday is not holding Gronkowski he's going to run under that football for the touchdown. The drive down the field after the missed field goal in three minutes 38 seconds. Extra point good. But Jim, let's go back and watch that touchdown by Tom Brady. Here's Hernandez. He's just going to go up and work across. But watch the other guys crossing and see what Tom Brady sees. So he goes back. The Steelers are passing it off. Look what they got. They're covering 77 going across the field. But it's hard to stay with all of them. And there is Aaron Hernandez in the back of the end zone. So we had three receivers crossing. And it's hard for the defense to say, I'll let him go. You cover him. You can't do that with three of them. And a good job by Tom Brady retreating 
in finding Hernandez in the back of the end zone. Patriots, one of the best in football, probably the best team. They get more receivers on the back of the end zone line and run across it than anybody. Now, will they, with 2.35 to play, will they onside kick it here? They have three timeouts talking about the Patriots. Should they go ahead and just try to rely on their defense? I would kick it off. That's Brown deep. I would kick it deep, Jim. The two-minute warning, three timeouts, put the pressure on the Steelers. Can they make them make the call? Of course, you onside kicking and do not get it. You're going to have to go a long way for that touchdown drive. I say Brown is deep. He's actually only at the 20. Steelers have 10 guys up front. Oh, it is an onside kick. And it's poorly executed. Traveled only seven yards. Probably their favorite onside kick. Just a, a little push straight ahead. We've seen him do it before. Scotty O'Brien, the uh, special teams coordinator. I didn't see what the flag was for. Could it have been offsides by the Patriots? Now this is natural grass, not the, the turf that New England has, so it's not gonna bounce and roll as much here as it would at home. There are two fouls, both on the kicking team. Offsides, left ring, and illegal touching is a dead ball spot. It's a five yard penalty from the dead ball spot. First down. He topped it. He yeah. won it a little bit, but the last time the Patriot franchise had a successful onside kick was 1994. They've never had one in the Belichick era at New England. I was showing you what they were trying to do there, Jim. They were going to cross block in front of Gostowski so they would do the blocking. He would kick it and recover. In fact, the last time the Patriots recovered an onside kick, it came against Belichick when he was the Cleveland coach in a playoff game in 94. Look at this, a throw, and it's Johnson. He makes sure he stays in bounds, and he's tackled at the 30. And Patrick Chung is tossed aside by Heath Miller. Good call by the Steelers there. You have to stay aggressive. Patriots call the first time out. Some of the early headlines. How about the Rams' first win? Yes, they shocked the Saints today. Ray Rice helps lead Baltimore back from 21 down. Biggest comeback in Ravens history. We'll be here next week. And the Giants were down most of the day to Miami. The Dolphins stay winless and look down at the bottom at Eli Manning's magnificent numbers. 349, 2-0. Oh. Well, he saw him two weeks ago. He threw the ball as well as I've ever seen him throw the football in his career. And watched most of that game today, or a lot of it. He continued what he was doing two weeks ago. Speaking of numbers, Roethlisberger with a season high today, 365. I would not be, it wouldn't surprise me to see some type of play action again, Jim. Tough to run in obvious running situations against this defense. Second and three. Within a yard of the first. And now another timeout. New England's left with one. Next week, regional action. The Jets will be up at Buffalo. The Bills coming off a shutout victory today. They blank Washington 23 to nothing to go to five and two. Jets will be coming in off a bye. Plus Cleveland, Houston, Miami, Kansas City. Some will see their action late with Denver, Oakland, or Cincinnati against Tennessee. All beginning with the NFL today at noon Eastern time presented by Southwest Airlines. Again with the Bills. Victory today. They go to five and two. If the Patriots fall here, those two will be tied at the top. Of course, Buffalo's beaten them head to head in their one appearance. They came back from 21 down in that one. 
Um, you know, as I look at this situation here, right, Jim, here's what I'm thinking. Steelers, if you run the football, which I think they will, and if you come up a couple inches short of the first down, what do you do? My answer would be, I think you run it again. Third and one, and that may, in fact, be the question. Depends on the spot. That was, was full steam ahead, wasn't it? Yeah, Redmond running with it. And they get Belichick on the far side looking down the line. Boy, it would set up a really interesting call here. If you made a field goal, you'd have the two-score advantage. And if you go ahead and go for it and get it, you close out the game. This is oh. Redmond. Look at that blocking up front toe. Gerard Warren knocked out of there. That was a pretty good surge by the Steelers offensive line in a known situation. So basically be a clincher here if they've got the first. And it is first down for Pittsburgh. Redmond straight ahead. There's Warren 98. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a, a good shoulder. Job. Warren getting in there. Spikes. Spikes. Albert Hainsworth. Those are three pretty good run stoppers. New England takes its last time out on this side of the two minute warning. And Isaac Redmond, just looking at him, we even talked to Mike Tomlin about the running backs. They have the fine rows. Not surprised they gave the football to him in that situation. They've added a couple of seconds on the clock, 2.10. But New England cannot stop the clock again. Just the two-minute warning. 220 total yards today by the vaunted Patriot offense. I'll the tell you, yeah, I'm sorry. Steelers defense, Dick LeBeau, they've uh, not had the better of it on most of these occasions against them. But I just, I'm sorry, Jim, I just want to, but it shows you why you have to be so aggressive when you're ahead of the Patriots. All that's gone on today, if they don't pick this situation up, it'd be tough for the Steelers to stop them. It's Redmond again, and this time backed up a yard. And it'll bring it to the two-minute warning. 23-17. Pittsburgh with two minutes to play. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Well, that was the... That last first down that they picked up was their 29th of the day, and the Steelers now have it second and 11. Again, Patriots without timeouts. Finn backing up. And dropped at the 39 by Kyle Love. Now that means nothing. That was a good job trying to kill time, and of course, he may be taking a chance. Well, if they don't cover anybody, I'll throw it out there. Again, a third and 22 coming up, so New England could still get it back. Baltimore comes in here next week and then at Cincinnati before a late bye for the Steelers. Cincinnati's winning today, so that'll be, they could be 5-2, and two, and their defense is playing really well, too. And Roethlisberger knocked back again, this time by Vince Wilfork. And Mark Anderson has gotten a little sloppy these last couple of plays. They'll be able to run this down to about 30 seconds. And then Brady says, at least give me some kind of chance here, even if I have no timeouts. Yeah, it's the blitz. Not picked up. Not enough time. And he does the right thing. Take the sack. I don't think they would have tried a long field goal anyway, Jim. So. First punt of the day for Daniel Sepulveda. Greg Warren in the seventh year out of North Carolina will snap it back. Take the delay a game. Make sure you punt it where there's no return. Out of bounds or in the end zone. Go forth.
Pretty amazing though when you watch games against good teams managing the game at the end how important it is not to make even the slightest mistake as a head coach. Brady warming up and Sepulveda after a brief official conference will be sending it down to Wes Welker. Pittsburgh and New Orleans the only two teams coming into the week in the league that have not allowed a punt return of 15 yards. Welker comes up for it and is hit right away. Curtis Brown was there to meet him at the 22. We've got 19 seconds to play. Well, what you do, I, I would think all this, the New England Patriots want to do, you can throw the football inside. They're going to give you a completion. Complete it, run up, spike the football, and what you want, Jim, is just one chance to throw it to the end zone. So if it gets up near the 40 to 45, Tom Brady can reach the end zone on the last play of the game. Balls out. It's kicked into the end zone. And it is recovered in the back of the end zone and out of bounds. Ziggy Hood came up with it. It was Kiesel who knocked it out. Put up two for Pittsburgh. It'll be a safety. Kiesel just keeps working. Please put six seconds on the game clock. It was Paul Amalo, and maybe he just knowingly punched it toward the end zone. That ball came darting out of there. Watch Paul Amalo. What did he do here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. What a heads-up play. Well, that's illegal. But how could you see it happen so fast? When I saw it here live, I thought, well, okay, they could have been one of the defenders. Well, then Somebody why can't they review it? it upstairs then? You can't review a penalty. Punch into the football. But it's a scoring play. I know, but it's a penalty. You know, it's just like if you scored. And you thought there was pass interference. Well, you can't you can't review it to see if there we'll was. We'll review the previous play with this in replay. Well, they are going to review it. There was not a penalty, and just to clarify what yeah. you were saying. No, Ziggy Hood, they're just seeing if he recovered it. Wow, look at the divots he took up, and no, he is out of bounds. But when you review this, you just can't, Jim, what I'm saying is you can't say, oh, there was a penalty on it, so we're going to reverse the car or whatever. That's, so he's clearly out of bounds when you watch that recovery. Wow. We didn't see Troy Polamalu's name a lot today, but he was, saw a couple big tackles. I'm actually wondering if it, since it was a Pittsburgh player who batted it through the back of the end zone, why maybe it also could be considered instead of a safety a touchback. For you rules book rule book aficionados this is a doozy right here. Well you can't. It, Bat the football forward like that, Jim. Why? Remember the, uh, the Dave, Oakland Raiders, Dave the Kenny Casper. Stabler. Yeah, Dave Casper. There we go. 1978 down in San Diego at the end of that game. <laughs> Better known as the Holy Roller. And the review 
is about whether or not it was recovered in the end zone. Well, I, th I still think it's a safety. The ruling on the field is confirmed. The defender did not have complete control when his foot was out of bounds to safety. Please put eight seconds on the game clock. Eight seconds on the game clock, please. Well, all we have left now, eight seconds to go, and New England will be kicking it from its own 20. But what a day for the Steelers. What a day for the Steelers. Is ben Roethlisberger, Jim, just to go over, as well as they played an offense, the focus is to what they did on the defensive side, even though this is a... This is, can still be an onside kick. And that one's out of bounds. Oh, oh, for two in that department. Out. That was a new one. Did you see it? That yeah. was a oh, drop yeah. kick. <laughs> which is legal. Of course, they had the duck flitting. Free kick out of bounds. We fly at the out of bounds spot. First down. Drop kick extra point. The last week of a regular season a few years back. Hey, what you can do with that drop kick in this situation, you can get more height on that try to give your defense, since he's bouncing on the ground, makes it legal to give you even a better chance to go down and recover the onside kick. But not only how the Steelers played, though, Jim, a big part of this story is going to be when it's over, too, the entry to Lamar Woodley to go along with all the other missing defensive players. 25 to 17, the Pittsburgh Steelers take it here. Coming up next, 60 minutes, followed by the amazing race. Then the good wife, followed by CSI Miami. So for Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long from Pittsburgh. You've been watching the NFL on CBS.